pour that Alfredo sauce on top. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to the Chicken Natural 8 Easy and Delicious Vegan Meal Plus Snack Ideas. Let's go. Nice beat. Yeah, buddy. So let's go ahead and get into what I got. So these are in no particular let's. order. I just have all my stuff laid out. So first I got the Simple Truth Organic Plant-Based Sour Cream Alternative. And with this, I really want to do like a super loaded baked potato. I just think it'll be so delicious and I'm already anticipating it. I can already see it. I can almost taste it. I'm so excited. Yeah, absolute food obsession like every single time. Vegans want the real thing and therefore they're looking for replacements. If veganism would truly be your species specific diet, why would you look for dairy replacements? This is what this is. Sour cream comes from a cow usually or a goat. The reason why you like it in its original state is because you identify nutrients. It is that simple. Your body is a biological machine. Your body understands through the tongue, through the taste, what is good for it and what is not. Now you're replicating it. However, you do not have the nutrients. I'm excited about it. So I got this and of course I had to get some potatoes. So I got a bag of potatoes. I got some mm. chives. Mm -hmm. And I got some vegan bacon. I always get this bacon <laughs> at Kroger. And you guys have seen this in my recent What of I Eat Every Day video. Yet again, craving animal foods, craving animal fats, craving animal flesh. Otherwise, there would be absolutely no reason for bacon. Faken bacon. Listen, guys, if veganism is truly your ideology and you do it for the animals, why do you replicate those animal foods? Think about it. Many vegans will say that eating animals is murder, that it is not acceptable morally. So let's think about another example. What is not accepted morally? How about pedophilia? Now think about it. Every pedophile in this world wouldn't have sex with children anymore. And now imagine we would offer an alternative for all of those pedophiles, right? Give them virtual reality where they can lust after children. It's just virtual. It's not the real thing, right? Child porn digitalized virtual for your needs. That is ridiculous. Nobody would find that acceptable. Although, who knows, maybe I'll stand corrected in this degenerate, perverted society that we are living in. If you truly find it so immoral to eat animal foods, why would you replicate their flesh? Ridiculous. So, so this should be pretty simple to make. I'm just going to bake my potato, of course, pile on this sour cream alternative. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I'm going to yes. make this vegan you want dairy. bacon and I'm going to chop it up into little bits, sprinkle that on top and then sprinkle the chives on. Yes. And I love potatoes in every way, shape and form, but I think this will be like next level. And this oh. did end up being so delicious. Oh my Look god. Look how fake this looks. This is crazy. Those cheese bits look like Legos. The same applies to the bacon on this slop that mimics dairy. The only plant food is the potato. But if you are a plant eater, why don't you simply eat the potato and enjoy it? Me, as a meat eater, I can say that I can sit down to a meal of steak and thoroughly enjoy it. The vegan logic crumbles. Goodness, topping the potato with the tangy sour cream alternative, along with the vegan bacon, vegan cheese and chives. It just made this so an absolutely ridiculous. perfect comfort food. Also got the Simple <laughs> Truth plant-based Alfredo vegan yes! sauce. So I'm going to be making a real- You do not need me to point this out. However, this is dairy craving again decadent um pasta dish for one of my dinner options for this week so i got some fettuccine noodles so and sad. i want this to be a really well-rounded dish so i'm going to also add to it some broccoli so i got this bag of broccoli florets now it's well-rounded put in some <laughs> sun-dried tomatoes i actually already had them in my fridge so i didn't need mm. to buy any more and the final thing i'm going to add to my pasta is some tofu i got the simple truth organic 
Tofu is the original meat replacement. This is how it all started. Tofu in extra firm. And to make this pasta, I'm gonna roast the tofu and the broccoli. If you wanna know exactly how I do it, which is super simple, I will put the link below to my recent What I Eat in a Day video. I'm all right, thanks. That's the process that I'm gonna to use to make this. Of course, I'm gonna boil my fettuccine noodles and then I'm gonna throw the noodles, the broccoli, the tofu, the sun-dried tomatoes into a pan. Mm. Pour that Alfredo sauce on top and just toss it. <laughs> She's so obsessed with food. You can clearly see that she is starving. Pour that Alfredo sauce on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mental food porn. Everything. And I think it will turn out really good. I haven't tried this vegan Alfredo sauce, so I'm <laughs> anxious to see how it tastes and um, all that. So This is so sad to watch for me. The chick natural. She has over a million subscribers. So that means she makes good money off this. But what is it really worth it? You're getting a lot of money off this. You have sponsored videos, but you are starving. You're eating a slave food diet. It is such a sad existence. That's another dinner option. The plant-based Alfredo sauce is so rich and creamy and it made a really <laughs> good base for this dish. I did go ahead and uh. add some cake. And I bet you, you are unsatisfied after this dish. You tricked your taste, but it thought it's gonna get some K2, some calcium, some cholesterol, some rich protein, but it isn't getting anything. After this dish, you're even hungrier than before. You're ravenous. Seasoning to put my own spin on it and bring a bit of spiciness to it, and it all turned oh, out so super yummy. Next, I got the Simple <laughs> Truth Meatless. Honestly, guys, I cannot make this up. It's crumbles. This was really easy to come up with what I was going to do with this. Mm. I was like, hmm, that looks good. The picture on the front looks really appetizing. I'm going to yep. do that. I'm going to do tacos. So I'm going to do what the companies recommend to me. What I got to go along with the crumbles, I got a box of these flour soft tortilla mini bowls. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to use to pile in my crumbles, my topping. Admittedly, I was a bit distracted by all of these food alternatives. But I have to mention that none of her foods have any nutritional value. It is all grains, either the pasta or the corn tortillas mixed in with alternatives. It is absolutely disgusting. There is no nutrition in this food. Again, high calories, but malnutrition. All that, you know, goodness on top. Got some tomatoes, gotta have tomatoes. Got a thing of green leaf lettuce. Also got an avocado. I cannot live without avocado or of course my you can't. taco burrito Mexican dishes. And with this, mm. I'm just gonna heat the crumbles in a skillet. I'm gonna add in some taco seasoning to really give it a nice flavor. This is veganism. This is what the vegans achieved. Processed food, nothing more and nothing less. Nothing is really whole here. Sure, the avocado, the tomato, that's pretty much it. All the rest is processed foods. Those companies are making money. They are profiting off their followers. You vegans are deluded. You're confused. You are supporting Big Egg. Put my lettuce and tomato on and I'm gonna make kind of like a guacamole topping with my avocado. Picked up the Simple Truth oat milk. This is... This is a dairy replacement number 763. Lactose, soy, and nut-free. It says it's an excellent <laughs> source of calcium and vitamins A and D. No. It says so, then it must be true. We all know that those foods are fortified. It is just a chemical beverage. Nothing more and nothing less. No sugar added, non-GMO, nothing but good stuff in here. Not I, true. I think I'm late to the party because I tried oat milk for the first time maybe a month or two ago and I really, really like it. So of mm. course I wanted to try out the Simple Truth brand. Oat milk is really good in tea. Oh my goodness, it just sets it off so nicely. I love the texture, I love the flavor. And you're super fake. It is always the same. You're trying to sell us products. You don't really believe in them because guess what? It is not your species specific diet. None of those foods are truly appealing to you. You want to stuff your face with cheese and real milk. For this week, I'm planning on using this oat milk in my smoothies. So I got some frozen uh. fruit. I got the Simple Truth Organic Strawberry Banana Blend. Okay. I also got the Simple Truth Organic Berry Medley. Fresh. I think we understood by now that it's all simple truth, but the simple truth is you crave meat. 
freshly frozen raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries inside. So this is gonna be really good Sad. smoothie. And I got a bag of spinach. I love to put fresh greens in my smoothie. I just gotta get those oxalates, girl. Makes me feel a lot healthier. It makes me feel <laughs> like I'm really doing something good for my body. So I like- Oh, really, does it? Every time you run to the toilet because of the excess fiber? Or will you feel good when you get kidney stones? You don't wanna just do high oxalate greens like spinach. Swiss chard and big greens you want to eat, arugula and kale and collards, all those other wonderful greens. Um, and it's because you can get too many oxalates, you run into kidney stone problems, even if you uh, don't otherwise have any, uh, any uh, kind of predisposing factors. Exactly. Spinach is high in oxalates. It is not healthy. You've been conditioned. You've been brainwashed. You believe it is healthy. The simple truth is it is not. I like to get my greens in, and I love spinach, like... I love spinach on its own, but in a smoothie, you can't even taste no, it. No, you so don't. If you're one of those people that- If you truly love spinach on its own, why don't you eat it out of the bag? That you're not really into spinach or you don't like vegetables. Because I've actually heard a lot of people say, I don't really like vegetables. I don't really like the taste of them. Hmm. Try some- How come if we are herbivores, why don't we like vegetables? That is so strange. Spinach in your smoothie, just get them in that way and you won't even taste it and you get all the nutrients. Exactly, you won't even taste it, right? Because we are herbivores, we are frugivores. Just chug it into the smoothie so you won't taste the goodness. <laughs> and everything like that. So I like to put spinach in my smoothie, so I got this bag. Because I've seen it on YouTube. It's so smooth and rich, and I'm really just amped about this smoothie that I'm gonna be making. Another new sure. product that I picked up is the <laughs> Simple Truth Organic plant-based French onion dip. Again, the same craving dairy, what else? And this is soy-free and dairy-free. As soon as I saw this, I knew I had to get it. I knew I wanted to try it. And I got this as a snack option. So with this, I got two different things to go along with it. I honestly feel very, very sad for you. Why don't you just go back to your ancestral diet? I got this container of celery sticks. One here has a celery on there and I was like, I'll go with that. Let's see how it works. So, so instagram -y. I think this will be great just on any type of raw vegetable, carrots, stuff like that. So I got- So yet again, just junk food. The celery sticks to tell your conscience that you're eating something healthy, which is absolutely ridiculous. There's nothing healthy about celery sticks. You're eating a very processed product that mimics dairy or at least tries to. And on top of that, you're eating potato chips. How is this a good meal? Some celery this go round. And I also got some ripple potato chips, chips and dip. Can't go wrong with that. Another snack item that I'm super stoked to Sad. make are these right here. These are the Simple Truth plant-based place and bake chocolate chips. Simple truth, simple truth. Yet again, another simple truth, all processed junk food. Cookie dough. These cookies look divine on here. It makes, this pack makes 12 cookies. I'm definitely making these tonight just cause looking at them, I want some right now. So I'm gonna be making these very shortly. And these- Congratulations, you are a sugar junkie. They seem to be super easy to make. They're not the ones that you have to like shape and cut and stuff like that. Just put it on a uh, baking tray, bake it, let's see, 17 to 20 minutes at ah. 350. So I'm gonna be making these for me and the fam, some nice, fresh, baked cookies. What's better? Why don't you really make fresh baked cookies? Actually use some real cream, some eggs, make some real cookies. Why is every single food item out of a package? Especially in the winter time, some hot, fresh out of the oven, ooey gooey chewy <laughs> chocolate chip cookies totally food obsessed yet again this is a sign of starvation a mineral deficiency a vitamin deficiency a protein deficiency you name it vegans always salivate about the thought of food because they are constantly hungry so really excited about these as well you guys, once I tasted these cookies, it was love at first bite. I was blown away by how good they were. And I actually had to put myself on a bit of a restriction from not eating so many at once. They are just that tasty.
Mm -hmm. Picked up the Simple Truth Organic <laughs> Cream Cheese Alternative. And with that, I'm just keeping it simple. I'm going to... Every have meal is the same. You can't even tell the difference. Cream, cheese, whatever alternative. It is all trying to mimic dairy. Don't you understand that in dairy you have hormones. You have calcium. You have K2. You have real bioavailable proteins. This is why you want to eat it. But you're fooling your body. You're tricking your taste buds. And then... You you're eating processed shit food. If you combine the bagels with this alternative, you get zero nutrients. It on a bagel for breakfast. And so I just picked up this pack of plain bagels, toast these bad boys up and slather on so some fake. that cream cheese alternative. Quick, easy breakfast. You really can't go wrong. A cream cheese alternative, even saying that is wrong. An alternative must deliver some alternative nutrition. So let's say, hey, as an apple alternative, today we're gonna have an orange. That makes sense. Hey, as a steak alternative, today we're gonna have a salmon filet. That makes sense. But this is not an alternative. This is not a replacement. This is processed gunk. With a bagel and cream cheese, it's simple, it's filling, and it literally takes like three minutes to make. I paired mine with some fresh fruits for a well-rounded meal. Mm, well rounded meal. Me. <laughs> How is this well rounded? So much. I also snagged the simple truth. Plant-based bolognese sauce, I believe that's how oh, you yeah. pronounce it. Just so I can have another pasta option in my arsenal. And this one should be even easier. Again, processed grains combined with something that should replicate mimic meat. Sauce bolognese. We all know that bolognese sauce is meat-based. And back in the day, it was even made with chopped meat. The tomato sauce is up to interpretation. Some people like to believe that back in the day we would cook with blood. In certain cultures, that is correct. But nevertheless, we're talking about a meat-based dish, which you again try to mimic and fail to recreate to make so what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to use the same fettuccine noodles and boil those of course put this pasta sauce in a pan heat it How up does heat this it look? nice and hot i might add some seasonings to it because i usually always like to customize my sauces and then Sad. you know plate it up put the bolognese sauce on the pasta i'll probably add some <laughs> vegan parmesan on top of course set it off really nicely and it should only take a couple minutes to make this so i always love a really quick simple meal option that's ridiculous. So you guys, uh, that's all the stuff that I got. That's what I'm going to be having for this week's meals. All right. And this is enough for me as well. Guys, you saw it yourself. Every single meal was trying to mimic the real deal. Every single meal was either trying to mimic dairy or meat. It is always the same. Vegans, please wake up to this delusion. The reason why those foods are tasty is because your body recognizes the nutrition. It is that simple. How much in denial can you be? After years of being vegan, you still crave those foods. That has nothing to do with emotional attachment. Where have you heard that in the first place? It was on YouTube where vegans told you it is just because of the emotional attachment. You've been conditioned to eat those foods. That is plain wrong. If you eat raw sashimi, which is raw fish, you will love it. Why is that so? Because it is your species-specific diet. If you eat a steak on its own, you will love it. It is that simple. Nothing more and nothing less. You're living in denial. You're tricking your body. You're abusing your body. How is this a healthy diet? How can you do this to yourself? It makes me truly sad. The best decision of my life in recent times has been to wake up from this vegan cult and to reclaim my my health on the way to reclaim the health of so many others that reach out to me on a daily basis telling me Bobby please proceed with these videos it really wakes people up and this is the only reason why I make those videos I said it before I have no issues with you I love all people but 
I hate the ideology, the doctrine of the devils, which is veganism. Veganism is destroying human lives, and I do not wish that upon anybody. No, not upon you either, the chick natural, even though there is nothing natural about your diet. It is quite the opposite. It is a processed slop diet that you promote to your viewers for money. This fakeness has to be called out. All right, guys, but I'm ranting here. The video is really long enough. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. If you want raw grass-fed liver, but you cannot stand the taste, Grassland Nutrition has the solution. Grassland Nutrition takes grass-fed organic beef liver raw and freeze-dries it for you. It is a convenient, fantastic way to get the nutrition of liver without the taste. So we have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's Perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo, or even raw. All right, but this is it for today. Thank you very much for your support, guys. And as always, much love and peace.